Hi folks, so picking up from where we had left in cube development, uh, we have covered so far, we have created the cube, we have added the measure groups and the dimensions and then also we have deployed that on the analysis services SQL Server. Uh, now what, what we would look at in this part is how we can add a measure to an existing measure group, uh, add a measure group all together and how we add calculated member measures. So these three things. Uh, we are going to take a look at. So what we see here is a measure group fact internet sales and fact reseller sales. So first of all let's try to add a measure to this measure group. Uh, so we call it a new measure. Uh, now here what you see is in this window for, for new measure what we see is the uh, different aggregations that are possible. So we'll take a look at each of them uh, what they uh, what are the different types of aggregations possible. For now we keep it uh, to sum and uh, the source table that's fact internet sales. The next uh, what we need to select is the measure that we want to add. So let's call it uh, total product cost and say ok. Now let me revise the name and call it cost amount. Similarly let's uh, also try to add another measure uh, as total product cost and then reseller cost amount so that we can have this measure name unique. So we've added two measures. Uh, now let's also try to add a new measure group altogether. So we call it a new measure group and we get uh, the various tables. So let's select fact sales, uh, fact sales quota and um, oh we have uh, uh, four of them. I just uh, don't need all of them so I delete uh, and let's try to keep sales amount quota for this new measure group uh, and I also remove the space that's it uh, cool so we have seen uh, we have cre uh, added a new measure that's uh, cost amount and resellers cost amount and then we have added a mesh group all together so also for the null handling let's also try to uh, update the properties for unrelated dimensions to false so that we get a value of uh, so the value is not present if there is no, no relation between them uh, next what we do is uh, cool let's process it the processing is done uh, we have been browsing the cube from uh, here. Uh, what I do is okay to just update. Uh, let's try to browse it from the server. So I refresh this. We go into the cube and then we browse it. So this is another uh, way to browse. So I just wanted to show this. So I have selected this. Uh, option now let's try to take a look at um, the sales amount the cost amount uh, the reseller sales amount and we also select the cost amount and let's also pull out the quota against maybe product by category right so yeah they are appearing okay they are appearing good so what we see is we have the sales and the cost amount and we have resellers sales and the cost amount and the quota for each of them um, okay uh, next what we try to do is uh, we try to, uh, to add calculations so what we are trying to do uh, let's try to add the internet sales sales amount uh, and the reseller sales amount to a grand total uh, sales and also the cost amount for both of them so for this we'll have to add two new measures let's go down to the measure tab and click on a new calculated measure and uh, what we do here is we call it total sales amount and 
in the expressions what we do is we pull out the sales just drag drop and you would get that and and the sales amount for the reseller so we have the internet and the resellers uh, sum and uh, let's also format it uh, and for color expressions let's try to add a green should be good and font I just call it a bold and also we can use a different font done that is the sales grand total so what all we have we have done here is we have uh, summed up the sales amount for the internet and the reseller sales uh, in the expression and formatted them accordingly so that adds a new measure uh, that's add, that adds a new calculated measure so let's also add it uh, a new cost and for this cost amount and resellers cost amount and we again let's format this colors and expressions uh, let's hold on to a blue maybe and fine we have done that let's process the cube once again so let's go back and Let's try to refresh. Okay. Yes, so we get this. Clear the results. And now we see two new measures and with the calc with a symbol with the icon of calculator against them, uh, which implicates uh, uh, and which means that they are calculated me me measures. And let's try to see the details. Um, we pull out the cost amount. cost amount, reseller cost amount, sales amount, reseller sales amount, total cost and total sales. So as you can see the formatting is the, the size of uh, the numbers are, are slightly bigger and also there is a background color indicating the cost versus the sales. Uh, amount so that is that is uh, the calculated members that we measures that we have added so far and uh, we'll get down to uh, uh, seeing this in the next session how we can use these calculated members uh, and try to uh, create a trend with with the help of the KPIs how we use that to uh, to know uh, the percentage profits and stuff like that uh, we'll, we'll look at it at the next session for, for for this session we have seen how to add a measure to an existing measure group uh, to add a new measure group all together and then how we can use uh, how we can add a calculated me measures so and apart from that I've also shown how to browse the cube from the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio thank you friends bye for now